different pitches of that? That's good. Are you uh, audioing this? I'm trying to. I don't know how well the mic picks it up, though. Dan, want to explain all the different things that it does? Yeah, go for it. Oh, I can't oh, do that. Right. I'm in. Alright. <laughs> the Zeus pipes. If you push the first button down and blow in, you get this six foot vacuum hose that goes out to this. It makes the most quacky of the notes. If you push the last, you get what I call the submarine periscope DY prime note. Kind of the most metallic. And if you push the middle one, my pride and joy. 19 feet of corrugated gas heater hose connected to a wiffle ball. <laughs> Demonstration. Thanks, Dan. Not a problem. Anytime, come by and I'll explain what you're doing. Alright, great. How many feet of tire hose did that thing use? 19 feet. That's my time. Gas pipe hose. Large part? Yeah. Because it's actually like counterproductive because the pipe, like the spear part is here. Right. So like it's actually, like when you pull these up, it actually oh, makes yeah. a higher pitch instead of a lower pitch because it's the air coming back up. Alright, do you want to go out here then? Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, we used to mic it too. Well, that's a good shot of it, anyways, from a distance. Talk about this one? This is a three part instrument comprising of one, clarinet mouthpiece, two, the actual instrument part of it, the spear as it is referred to, and three, the amplification system. You see this instrument much more in the rear of today's ensembles. <laughs> it looks ridiculous, and you really can't hear it.
Hey, Dan. This thing works. <laughs> <laughs>